Hey, we had Guabzilla versus King Kong earlier, and now it's a Pitbull versus a Gorilla. It's a last-second replacement as uh, Chase Sherman, a.k.a. the Vanilla Gorilla, who was originally supposed to be taking on Parker Porterhouse Steak, now sees himself against the Pitbull, Andre Arlovsky. Rarely do we see a last-second fighter be the favorite, but we have just that in this one, as the Pitbull Arlovsky comes in as a minus-120 favorite to the plus-100 Vanilla Gorilla. The matchup stylistically is definitely different, as... Arlovsky should probably be less of a threat to finish Chase Sherman uh, as maybe Parker Porter was, but Arlovsky is a savvy, gritty veteran who will bring a ton of volume, some solid footwork, and will do his best to try and evade those meat bombs that will be coming his way. Chase Sherman's UFC runs have been a mixed bag, right? He, he went 2-4 and four in his first run, and he got cut, sent to island fights, where he essentially rediscovered his sauce and earned himself a second UFC call-up, and... In that call-up, managed to finish Ike Villanueva. So, very cool for the Vanilla Gorilla. But the fact remains that uh, Ike Villanueva definitely is not the former champ Andre Arlovsky. And while the Pitbull is on sort of the downturn of his career, he's been on this downturn for a long time and still finds ways to win fights against tough UFC fighters, sometimes even tough younger UFC fighters. So, who you got in this one? It's a near pick em, but do you lean one way or the other in this uh, Pitbull versus Gorilla matchup? Uh, yeah, you know, this is this is a fun matchup, especially if, you know, if you're a Pitbull fan, you know, ex-champ. Uh, this guy's a legend. I mean, he's 42. He's still getting the work. He's showing that he 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 ain't he ain't done yet. Um, he's looked good, even though he's he's got he's coming off a last loss. But he had two wins before that. So super impressive by the Pitbull. Um, you know, usually once they hit that 40 year old mark, they ain't winning ever again. But he's still prevailing and uh, he's still fighting. So it's gonna be super interesting to see how he's doing versus the young guy, 31. Chase Sherman, the Vanilla Gorilla. Uh, yeah, this one I'm kind of torn on because I. I want to pick Pitbull, but man, the age and just he just lost and uh, Vanilla Gorilla is coming on a four fight win streak. You know, ever since uh, uh, he lost to Augusto uh, from that TKO. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, from yeah, yeah, sorry, that TKO. Uh, he's been on a nice four fight TKO win streak. So I, I'm gonna have to go with him. I think that momentum and uh, that confidence he really needed it um, to fight kind of all these bums to get to. This is, you know, a, a veteran kind of washed up. And uh, I think this is a make it or break it for both these guys. Uh, if the Vanilla Gorilla can't get by the Pitbull, I just don't think he has. He's going to be a journeyman slash always the top tier level of fighters. And the Pitbull is either, is he keeping his job or is he on his way out? I mean, I, I know Dana White doesn't like having people over 40 fight, but... Uh, a few of them have been shown that they still can, but I just I think Dana is gonna let this guy go pretty soon, just because that age is starting to get near 45, and that's just that's pretty crazy to be honest, being 42 and still active as Pitbull is. So props to him for that. But I gotta go with Vanilla Gorilla TKO, get that five fifth TKO win for his win streak. Yeah, he's uh, he is 42, right? You, you know, you uh, father times undefeated. But uh, with Arlovsky, I mean, he's been looking pretty good in his last few. And he's a dude who just is always super active, right? He never seems like a guy who will like balloon in the off season, so to speak. He he always seems like he's uh, in a training camp, always seems like he's in good shape. And uh, I think it's just evidence again by being able to uh, step up on day's notice, essentially, and take up take on a guy like uh Chase Sherman, who is way below him in the rankings. And uh, this is just a great opportunity for the Vanilla Gorilla. You, you did touch on that last loss of Arlovsky, but that was to Tom Aspinall. And I think that if Tom Aspinall and uh, the Vanilla Gorilla went at it, that that would be an equally one-sided affair. I think Tom Aspinall would absolutely smash Chase Sherman. So MA math gets a little sketchy, but uh, I do think that this is a different fighter that we're dealing with. I don't think Chase Sherman is quite to the level of Aspinall. And before that Aspinall loss, he had pretty nice wins over Felipe Linz and Tanner Bozer. That that fight against Tanner Bozer was pretty close. It was kind of like a, a stalemate kickboxing match on the feet. Not the most exciting fight. And I know some people did think that Tanner Bozer won it. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, the Pitbull did manage to get that one done in just a gritty decision. So if we look over at Tapology, 65% is going with Arlovsky. And a majority of it is beige. They're going with the decision as well. 35% of the community is going with Chase Sherman. And mostly, mostly all of it is brown. I think that uh, his pathway is by KO. So do you agree with that? Do you think Chase Sherman finishes Arlovsky or do you see him getting a decision? Um, 
I, yeah, I, I think uh, I'm with the tapology. I think his yeah. path is uh, KO or TKO. Um, yeah, I, I think the the longer it goes, and the uh, I, I think you know the experience that the pit bull has, uh, he'll be able to grit out a a grindy decision. Um, so, but I, I think Vanilla Gorilla isn't gonna let it get there. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Fair play. Yeah, gritty decision is ultimately how I'm seeing this one. I think that Andre Lofts is going to get this one done. Uh, I don't think that Chase Sherman's going to be able to put his lights out early. And uh, sort of like you touched on, the later this fight goes, I see Andre Arlovsky finding just another way to sneak out a unanimous decision. Probably not the most exciting fight ever. He probably only wins two rounds, but I'm going with Andre Arlovsky to get this one done via unanimous decision. So it's uh, an interesting heavyweight fight. There's a bunch of them on this card. So take a look at the other vids, meat boys. Let us know in the comments who you're going with and uh, check out the next vid.